Hey there everyone and welcome back to Tabs. We're jumping in playing with the pirates. Ooh, I don't know what to do with you. Favorite troop? Gotta be the pirate. Need Pirate King over here. Pirate. Uh, Captain, actually, but we'll call him the King. The R King. What's the most important thing we take out? They are the kings. Arch Queen, Archer, fucking Jesus, I'm playing bloody Clash of Clans in my head. The Pirate Queen is a beast. Not the bloody Archer Queen. Anyway, let's jump into spooky, the spooky section of the game. Yeah, can we play part? Yes. Oh, spooky versions of the maps. They weren't difficult to take out. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Archer, Archer Queen, Pirate Queen.
the fact that they just like break apart kind of makes it a hell of a lot easier for me to take them out. Do you know what I mean? Like one simple attack from her and they're all dead. I am tempted to just do this again. Once again, I should have just won basically based on the fact that he's down there. But of course, it don't work like that. I have no idea what happens when I do stuff like that. It just everything just goes so fast and I just can't like you just can't comprehend what's going on. Mental.
You were so easy to disintegrate last time, and I thought I bloody lost. I honestly thought I had lost. I was like, you were so easy to take out last time, and then now you're going to be difficult. I'm still thinking that I only have the pirate, but I don't. I have everything unlocked. I can literally use whatever I want. He was like attached to me and I couldn't do anything about him. That was irritating. Halflings. I still think that the Archer Queen's... No, again, blank crash glands in my head. I definitely think that they are a good idea. It's just... I need to be able to put something with them that has some oomph. You know, something that's going to be like absolute machine. Yeah, my thought behind this is that they're all skeletons. But they're not all skeletons, are they? Still think that's a good idea putting the scarecrow in. My Zeus in here. Then one of these horse dudes.
Boom. I like doing that. I like just flying up in the air. It's good fun. Go, my little weird family. Go. That guy is insane. I just know he's insane. I definitely think that the art, the uh, Pirate Queen's a good idea. It's just... I'm losing the sense of being able to actually control... Well, accessing lots of different troops, you see. Because I'm used to just playing the levels that quite literally only allow me to use a certain set and some of them even don't really even let you do that because they just want you to use one particular trick. Focus all I mean, that's not going to work. Quite obviously, it's not going to work. It's funny watching it, though. Hmm. I do kind of still want. Army of guns? I don't know how to take that guy out. You know what I'm going to use? Death himself. Because I know, for a fact, that he is OP. He is probably even more OP than... Because look, you just... If I was able to use my cheerleader, my god, he would be OP. him quite like he controls himself. Just 
It's the game. He's just insane. I mean, I'm quite obviously not good at controlling him, but my god, is he a beast. I thought they were going to turn into bats. Told you, he's good. But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode. I have run out of time for more recording. Uh, well, actually, maybe I haven't. Maybe I can do one more. Maybe. me. I think I got this. Like exactly the same way. There you go. Nailed it. Anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed. Hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.